You are back with the pop artist Perry Milo, American pop artist here during Art of the Carolinas. And we are continuing, I believe, part three of the appropriations in pop art. We are focusing in on a very famous children's story by Maurice Sendak. Where the Wild Things Are, which I just saw in the movie theaters, I highly recommend it. I'm showing you this illustration of uh, Max when he actually becomes friendly with the leaders of the creatures of the jungle here with Carol. And uh, Max interacts with these creatures and he notices that they're very angry and they're very hostile and gets involved in these different relationships with the characters before he returns home. And I thought that was an interesting contrast or interesting actually similarity to the famous iconic painting that Picasso created Guernica in 1937 which depicts the uh, Spanish Civil War and when the Germans bombed the city of Guernica. Now Picasso I found did many drawings of animals, bulls, horses in that painting of Guernica which I don't have a photo of but hopefully we can show you that later. I was inspired by the characters, the monsters in the painting Where the Wild Things Are and I thought that was similar to Picasso because of the anger associated with both of them. Now I'm continuing to start to refine and show some of these shapes in the painting. I'm going into a secondary color, a burnt umber which is nice to use on top of this purple. And I'm back, I have to find my original photo, here it is. So I'm back into the monster Max, I'm sorry this is Carol, and it does almost look to me like Picasso maybe could have done this in the Cuba style. But right now I'm breaking down planes and I'm defining what this almost like dinosaur creature would have looked like. Very carefully by using this reference. I'm still using a wash, I'm still dragging my brush, I'm figuring out where these horns might be and the secondary color is now coming on top of the base so it's starting to show you where things might actually sit in space and give us some form. It looks like the creature is almost asleep in this photo so there is his uh, eye lashes and his brows. I really enjoyed the movie. I highly recommend it. Here's his body. We're continuing that shape and you know a torso, look how I just create that big oval. That gives me again reinforces his girth and the torso. You can see this is where his hind quarters would be. Now again on the leg another oval. I always teach in shapes. Look at that, an oval here for from the hind quarters to the knee, okay? Another socket here is an oval for that and then this comes down and I'm still kind of continuing with the under, under color that I used previously. You can see it almost matches up. Look at that, almost matches up perfectly. Feet are not as hard as you think they are to draw. There's a rectangle for the feet and it breaks up into that. Now that is a little bit of what cubism became. Look how just by drawing that I could find these cubist shapes. Maybe something Picasso would do if he mimicked this right there. Here's socket for where his arm is resting on his knee. Another oval becomes the hand and the spikes which you saw in a lot of Picasso's creatures, people. It's a round brush. I get all the brush strokes that I could possibly want out of a round. I love using rounds. I think they're a great brush to start with when you teach. The arm again, maybe I could Picasso this out like that. Look how I'm breaking these shapes down. Very cool. Going back into some more burnt sienna. I control my brush very nicely. I dip in the oil. I pull it out. I don't wipe on the ledge of my cup because then the sediment or the paint will go back into your oil and you'll get dirty oil. No, no, you don't want that. Keep it clean, okay? I'm coming back around here. I'm connecting the edge of the face. Well, actually, this is his other arm 
which is resting. Now my proportions seem very good because of the beginning gestural drawing. That's where all you make, you're not really making decisions then, but it's helping you to define the shapes of what's to come. It looks like this is his back of his other leg, comes down through here, and his foot is up. You can see it's still in the area where I did the gestural purple. It swings out. He's got some big, ugly feet. This boy needs to go to the podiatrist. Here, 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 and wipe around. Now we pretty much got the creature of Carol laid in there, and we started to create some Picasso-like cubist shapes. We could really go crazy on that and fun, and we're going to start to fill those in a little bit later without losing the form so that we still know that this is Carol the Creature from the Wild Things Where the Wild Things Are. This is the pop artist Perry Milo. We will be back. Please check out more of my free art lessons, my DVDs for sale, my website, that's M-I-L-O-U.com. Keep painting pop art.